Good afternoon, everyone. How are you? Dun, dun, dun. Where are we? Here we go. Oh, God, I can hear Good myself again. Right, now I'm muted. Story of my life. No, not really. How are you all? Hey, Faye, how are you? So I thought this afternoon, as part of the great international craft show online, that I would do a little technique using rub-ons. Rub-ons are something that seem to have come back into fashion again. And... A lot of people have been um, asking me how do I use them, how can I incorporate them in my projects, and how do I, how do I use them in in general. So, rub-ons have been around for a really, really, really long time, and I have got the forty nine and market rub-ons here that I'm going to have a bit of a play with, and they are just simply gorgeous they are really really easy to use and they just they, they go on like butter so just a little bit of a tip as well i have been doing pages in my art journal um a lot of people probably think oh but i'm not into art journaling that's okay Think of it as a, a card front or think of it as a, a different sort of project like a, a mini book. It's about the technique. You need to get the information I'm giving you. It's all about the technique, not necessarily about it being an art journal, more just about creating a, a fun and easy technique. So just a, um, a casual reminder, today is Sunday the 17th of July, and it is the last day of the online show, which means it's the last day for you to take an opportunity to um, to get discount on a, some fantastic products on our website, nataliemay.com.au, and you can get 15% off of lots of things, including 49 market products, is which is what we're going to be using today, um, paper rose products and scrap effects products and then there is the section in the sidebar which is um, all of our show specials and show bundles now if you are hesitating on a couple of things i highly recommend that you jump online and get that sorted this afternoon because there's quite a few little items that we have we're on the way to selling out of including some of our bundles um, our copic marker clear out Copic markers have come down to, I've marked them right down to about uh, $4.50 and $6. So less than half price to clear those out. Okay, so nataliemay.com.au is where you'll find all the information. The Facebook group, Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community. This is where you'll find um, some competitions challenges opportunity for you to share your creative work get hold of some specials etc and you can follow me on instagram as well all right back to my craft journal um i'm working in this journal today because it is or this weekend because it's a great size to work in and it's what i have got handy and i am loving the idea of of you know taking something a little bit different and and turning it into you know something I'm comfortable with. Now, I have uh, gently given this page a coat of white gesso. So, just a reminder, white gesso is the gessoing. Putting gesso on something is to seal something. Okay, so gesso is like the underwear of crafting. So that means that we have sealed this cardstock so that I can add paint or water or whatever over the top. Now, I thought that I would use one of my Strength in Numbers collage papers with the rub-ons, okay? So um i'm looking at them thinking which one am i going to use i want to use her so i am just going to cut up here so 
so these are my personal collage papers that I have designed and I'm going to get rid of that one and it is has is just started to absolutely bucket down with the rain here in Adelaide uh, where we are so if you can hear that it is absolutely hounding. All right, so what I thought I would do is I'm just gonna trim this back a bit. So I have got a paintbrush here somewhere. Here we go. And I'm going to soften the fibers in this paper to take off any harsh lines. So I've just got some water running my paintbrush just so that I can tear it back. And just doing a little bit at a time and it just softens the paint fibers and I'm going to put it right over here. So I'm going to do this edge now. And because I want to incorporate this into my art journal page, into my project. So that is why I am going over the print. And we're only tearing off a little bit, but I don't want a sharp edge I want to have a soft edge uh, and that's why I am wetting it just to give it that really soft finish now I'm going to do it on this side where I can see where it's wet so these little collage papers are four dollars fifty you'll find them on the website under products by Natalie May and just tearing that off so that I'm taking away that freshly cut edge. Perfect, and now I'm just gonna do the bottom. So you can see how the water takes it in there and then just softens those fibers, making it really easy to tear. Oh, and I still missed a bit, so I'm just gonna go like that. And that works for me. She's going to go there. So let's stick her down. I'm going to, again, use gel medium as my adhesive because it is easy. It dries quickly. And I'm going to use my catalyst tool, my little palette knife here, to stick that on. Straight. Right up against that edge. Now, I like using the Catalyst tool, like I've mentioned numerous times over this weekend, because it adds a nice amount of gel medium. It adds just the perfect amount. It's kind of like when you're on a diet and you're putting a small amount of butter on your toast. Yeah, because that never happens, but you know what I mean. Um, so you want to have, you know, if I was to use a paintbrush, it just goes on too thick and it's too heavy handed i find it much much better to use a palette knife or a catalyst tool so that i can spread it out and the other thing is is it takes off any excess so it's making sure that i'm getting all of those edges stuck down nicely and i don't have any loose bits and i'm getting it all down and i'm sealing it nicely as well so i'm just polishing it off with my fingers just to make sure that it's lovely and smooth. And it gets out any air bubbles or any chunky bits underneath where I was a little bit heavy handed. And now she looks like it's part of that background. So I'm gently just gonna wipe off any extra gel medium, bring it up to the page just to show you how, how smooth that is, okay? All right, so let's talk about rub-ons. rub, -ons. rub -on, oh, excuse me, rub-ons have been around forever and ever. They have been, um, they're a product that I think started, I remember rub-ons back when, they used to be like, a, I think it was called like a letter set alphabet. And you use those to put onto your project. So these are essentially the same. 
What I want to do today is I'll show you. So this is the Art Options Viking Rub-On Transfer Set. So this is by 49 and Market, which are conveniently um, on special. And it has all oh, has six sheets in it. So this is one sheet here. It's got these beautiful leaves. Uh, we have got this one here, which has got this uh, kind of distressed newsprint sort of finish. Some butterflies, which you can see I've actually just cut a couple out. Um, we have got a, a word sheet here. We have got some beautiful flowers and we have some more watercolour style flowers. Um, so what you need to do with these is they are a little bit sticky and they are, they've got a backing on them as well. So you peel the backing off and that exposes the rub on. So what we're going to be doing in a minute is I'm going to cut out the areas that I want and rub them onto here. But before I do that, I might add a little bit of paint to my journal page to help incorporate it into um, the rub-ons, incorporate into the page a bit and make it all work in together. Now, what I thought I might do is I have pulled out a whole heap of paints here in front of me in colours that I thought might, you know, they're similar colours to what I can see in this uh this this collection this beautiful art viking collection so i've got paper artsy paints i have got dina wakeley paints and i have dilutions paints here and i'm going to try and do a bit of a painty sort of background and i'm going to have a bit of a play i'm going to put some out here and build on my color so this is heather this is a dina wakeley paint called heather this one is a Dilusions paint called Laidback Lilac. Similar, but a little richer in colour. I'm going to use some Carnation, which is pale pink as well. I've also pulled out some Aquamarine Paper Artsy paint, which I have got a very small amount of that left. I'm using it very sparingly. Uh, I have some sage, which is a Dina Wakeley paint. Whoops, that's a lot. Uh, and a little marine, which is a also Dina Wakeley, but it's more of a a green. Uh, sorry, a, a blue grey. Seems to be one of my favourite colours right now. I find I'm reaching for it a lot. Oops, there we go. Now she comes. And. There's a little bit of blue in here, so I've pulled my Dina Wakeley Sky paint out as well. Okay, oh, and some white. We need white. White for balance. Oh, now, my white has gone hard because it is has been in storage. There we go. It's a bit chunky, but we're going to go with it. Oh, what's this one? Caribbean Sea. Let's get a little of that on there too. How's everybody's afternoon going? We are... Hope you're... I'm super grateful that you're hanging out with me for the afternoon. Okay, pull my sleeves up. Let's get going here. Your shopping cart's getting bigger, is it, Marina? Oh, well, you might want to... Um, head over and pop process that cart. Quite a few things we have discovered this afternoon are moving quickly. All right, I'm going to start with a light colour first of all. I'm, I'm wanting to leave some white space as well and I'm going to be, I'm not going to use a paintbrush. I got it out and I changed my mind. I'm going to use my catalyst tool. My catalyst tool works like a bit of a paintbrush. It's like a bit of a palette knife. And I'm going to get some of these colours in. Just a little bit swipey. It's all going to be about the layers. So um, just kind of building up some layers of colour here. And I'm okay with taking it in up over her face because I will be um, putting bits and pieces over the top of it as well. Now, I put that aloe on and then I've changed my mind and I've gone, you know what, I don't actually love that. So I've got that 
colour back over the top. Um, let's get a bit of this lovely colour. And I'm just kind of using, oh, the afternoons, that light's just changed. Isn't that beautiful? Um, ooh, that purple's quite nice. Something I wouldn't normally use, but I'm going to commit to it. It does look nice with the turquoise. just being a little bit swipey. So this is a really easy, fun technique that you can also do on a, on a card. You can do it on a scrapbook layout. Um, there's lots and lots of, you know, don't just think, oh, I'm not into art journaling. This is definitely not my thing. Well, that's okay. Think of it as a technique instead of a finished product. Okay, so I've built a lot of color up here and I'm just now just giving it a little moment and I'm going to be putting some darker colour over the top and helping it tie in together with this here. There we go. That's nice. Just a little kiss of colour. Doesn't have to be much. And like I said, there will be these rub-ons going over the top of it as well. So I don't want it to be too strong and powerful. I just want it to to blend in. I'm going to take some of this white and I'm just using my knife just to do this. And there's a little bit of shadow in around her face here. So I'm going to grab my paintbrush this time and I'm going to go in here. find a plain finger and do that. Sorry, I've been trying to read the comments at the same time, but I'm, I'm, I'm knee deep in concentrating here. All right, a little bit of a, a bit more swiping over here. And I'm also going to go over in a moment with some pale pink. But because there's pink in here, I need to bring it in somewhere else, okay? At the moment, I'm kind of loving it. White, pink, white, pink. I like having a little area here where I can mix my colours and make it work for me. If I don't have the right colour, if you've got white handy and another colour that's similar or you have a darker colour where you can mix it together, okay, you have the power. You can mix it, make it work for you. Oops, a bit heavy handed there, but that's okay. Okay, so I went in quite heavy and now I'm softening it up with a lighter colour over the top and making that, that work for me. All right, so now I can get in here and add in, dry this off and get some rub-ons and put some rub-ons over the top. All right, so she sits in there quite nice. Let's just do that. Okay. Feeling, oh, okay, I'm just noticing some comments here. Do you realise that we're going to have Natalie with drills tomorrow? Thank you, Jackie. I'm sure that um, Louise won't be having Natalie with drills tomorrow. The poor girl's been stuck, to me, stuck with me now for seven days. I'm just popping in a little bit of blue. Well, she's sick of listening to me talk to myself. All right, let's dry that off.
So I do want to make sure that they're dry because because putting the um, rub-ons on, which don't go well next to a heat tool, um, I want to make sure that they transfer really well. So m having a, a nice background that is nice and dry will make all of the difference. So rub-ons, you can get all sorts of different rub-ons. Um, the ones that we currently have in stock go with the 49er Market Collections. Um, and I do believe we've got some Art by Marlene ones that are in the clearance section. Sorry, not the clearance, the show specials. So make sure you have a look in the show, show specials because there's a ton of Art by Marlene in there that we have marked down to make room for some new stock that is on the way, okay? So yeah, this is, um, thank you, Jodie. Jodie's loving my color palette. So I have just pulled a heap of colors from my stash, including uh, Di Dilusions, Laid Back Lilac. We have got Turquoise from Dina Wakeley, uh, Carnation from Dina Wakeley. Um, what else we got? We've just used white, a um, bit of sky. How do you know if it's dry? Put your hand on it. Right, I've got a bit of a mess here. Um, I don't, I haven't worked out if I'm finished with my paint, so I'm not going to clean that up just yet, but I'm just going to move my palette off to the side so that I don't stick my hand in it because that's going to happen. All right, let's have a look at these rub-ons. So I have got some butterflies. Um, I definitely want to use this. This is gorgeous. This is a newsprint style. I want to use that. Um, I do like the leaves as well as the flowers. So let's start with this little mixed media style one. I don't know if you can. I know you're getting a bit of glare there. Sorry about that. Let's go that way. Um, but I really, really like this. It's kind of cool. I always cut up what I need to use, okay? Simply because peeling it all off together can be quite problematic. So I'm just going in and around some of these areas and I'm gonna put that here. Right, it also comes, the rub-ons also come with a little rub-on tool, which looks like this. So if you've got fingernails, you can use your fingernails to rub it, but I like to use the rub-on tool. So we peel off our transfer bit to expose that. Now this is a little bit sticky, which is great. And now I'm gonna pop that exactly where I want it to go which is gonna be right there. I give it a rub with my fingers, first of all. And now I'm gonna go in with my rub-on tool and make sure that I can transfer all of that print over to my journal, my project. So before I, I just rip it up, I will make sure that I do a little bit at a time. Just gonna grab my knife, grab the edge of it and start peeling it back to make sure that it's all coming off. Rubbing it back with my finger for the bits that I missed. Done. Okay, I'll bring that up to camera to show you. Yeah, Sandy's saying better a rub on tool than an old paddle pop stick. Yeah, I used to use an old paddle pop stick. So now that has become part of my page. Now I want to pop a bit more up here. Um, bit more, how about that bit down there? Okay. 
So rub-ons are so easy to use. Rub, rub, rub. Get in there. I remember I used to have some a long time ago um, and the brand was Maya Road. Does anybody remember Maya Road? Those ones used to go on like butter. They, and I've still probably got some. Don't tell anyone. Making Memories used to do some beautiful rub-on alphabets. I know that I've still got those. I don't know why, I can't use them, but that's okay. I'm gonna need another one up here for balance, but I'm gonna hold off from doing that and have a look at some of these other elements that I'm gonna put on. Um, I'm thinking I wanna use some of these leaves. I like this one here, and I like this one here because it's picking up the depth in that color. Um, and I do like this one here. Some were terrible and they're never transferred well. Well, yeah, basic grey did rub-ons as well. You're right. I love, but I've still got basic grey paper. Don't tell anyone. Don't let Louise find it. <laughs> Don't you dare sell my basic grey paper. See, I like this grey rub-on because it brings out some of the grey that's in here. So that will go down in that side. And I do believe... Might just pop those two on. So you can kind of plan out your page a little bit when they are like this. And I want to use one of these guys because that's super gorgeous. Which one? Or maybe, maybe. Can you hear my head working? because I can tell you what it is today. I could use one of those as well. Oh, that's got this little dark leaf in here. I like that. Let's cut him off. And there's another one up here. It's kind of like a bit of a, um, a dusky mauve. that set aside. I'm not going to use that one again. Cutting them up makes me makes it easier for me to see them. Right, I'm gonna pop that up there. And well, maybe the heavy one can go down the bottom. That's an idea. And put this little one at the top, which to me just feels lighter. Pop that aside. We need it. I have heaps of basic grey paper here. I think a lot of us do somewhere. Just don't tell everyone. Okay, I'm going to pop that up there. So I can lay it out now without sticking it all down too much. I think that'll come out of there as well. I don't know about that one yet. I can come back to that. So to start with, I'm actually going to stick down this guy. I'm going to rub him on. Move it up. And I'm just putting it beautifully over that paint. And these little rub-ons have got some great little paint splatters on them as well. So you kind of... Oh, stunning. You get these great little overlapping paint splatters.
So this is, these will be beautiful on cards, like I said, if you are a card maker. This exact same technique works on any size project. You're not just limited to, you know, an art journal. Right, this one I haven't rubbed enough. I need to give it a little bit more love. Peel it off the backing. Get some of those paint splatters I can see on the side there. Oh, it looks good. Got this little guy up here. I'm going to stick him there. It's just so easy to transfer these on. They are effortless. In a moment, I'll bring it up to camera for you to have a look at. But I just want to get as much of this down as I can. Oh, this might just be my most favourite page I've done this weekend, guys. Not colours I would normally choose by any means, but... Holy moly, it looks good. And they're so smooth. Jackie, I would never have, I'm just reading the comments, I would never have thought to purchase these until now yeah you're right they are totally overlooked um they are certainly something that can be overlooked and i used i use the. they also come in a 12 by 12 size actually do they yes they still we still have some hmm. the 12 by 12 size is absolutely gorgeous and that is where I used those the 12 by 12 size in my uh, on my layout kit that we did um, which you will find in the kit section and it is the kit called 49er Market Viking and it is a interactive kit so you get a full page of 12 by 12 rub-ons in that as well as a ton of other embellishments so oh look louise has got the 12 by 12 viking rub on transfer sheet this one is a big big one and this is the one that i used on that layout kit absolutely stunning um and the meadow curators meadow rub ons <gasps> look how pretty that is that's nice and i do love these tall gra grasses as well yeah really really nice Beautiful. Thanks, Lou. Um, Marina has says, will I need to seal them with gel medium to stop them rubbing off? No, I wouldn't have thought to do that. I find no need. I'm rubbing them on and I'm transferring them onto my project. So they should not be rubbing off at all. No. I mean, you could, you could seal them with a clear gesso or a gel medium if you wanted, but... You know what? It, it never actually crossed my mind. I've never had a problem with them before. It's not to say that, you know. Come on. Oh, I think my paint was a bit wet in here. Hmm. All right, let's just go gentle and get in here. Sticky little thing. So yes, the rub-ons are beautiful. 49er Marker have absolutely embraced bringing them back again. And I think that I'd forgotten how fun they are to use as well. Oh, so good.
see how it is important to have this depth of colour, which brings in these ones as well. What colour paint is the light pink? I used Carnation from Dina Wakeley for that light pink. I'm just checking out. I've got like on the little off cut bits where I've rubbed them off around the edges. There's some little paint splatter rub ons. I'm making sure that I get all of those because that is because they look great on the page. I feel like something needs to go down here. Let's have a look. Too much. Yes, yes, Natalie. Little flower. Come on. See how cute it is? Oh, so good. Okay. Radio, I I'm I'm really liking where this is going. I don't think I want to put any Oh yeah, I do. Mother flower back in this corner. Hello, Tina. You are late to the party again. What have you been up to, darling? Working today out on the out on the land. <coughs> now it's stuck to my finger. All right, so I've just popped a bit on the corner there. Oh, it feels weird on your finger. Let me just scrape that off. Okay. Um, okay, knowing when to stop is important. I've said that numerous times this weekend. Uh, and... <laughs> Taking my own advice, going to keep that butterfly there. And I said I did want to put something up here and a bit down here. So I do like this bit on here. And I'm going to grab that. And that is going to layer up really, really nicely. In fact, I'm going to use half of it. I'm going to cut it in half. Half at the top, half at the bottom. Top, bottom. Now, there's, there's a whole sheet of butterflies with this set of rub-ons as well, but I'm not too sure that this is like a butterfly sort of layout um, project. I think this is this is not a butterfly sort of thing. Uh, Veronica. <laughs> Veronica's made a lovely comment. I think I have outdone myself with the amount of orders I've done this time. We appreciate you, Veronica. Okay, done. And now I want to put, actually, this is really blue. This is nice down here. It's very blue. And I'm going to just tone that back a bit with just a little pink and a little bit of heather. 
which is this really lovely Dina Wakely colour here, just to move that blue to the back. Because when I look away and look back at it, I notice that bit, okay? And that bit. So it's a good little trick to see what colours are dominant and standing out. It's is to look away, bring your eye back to it. Um, this lovely set of rub-ons has got some wonderful phrases in them as well. So this is perfect because now I can add my, my title, my phrase. So I'm going to use this one. Cut it out first. Always cut it out first. Don't take the easy option and just think, oh, I'll just wing it and, and try and do it without without cutting it out, it will never work, okay? It is just not gonna work. And I'm gonna put this one smack bang in the middle, maybe? Higher? Down there, up here. Up, down, where's it gonna go, guys? No, that's not the spot. I'm just waiting to look at it on screen to see where it goes. I'm gonna stick it there. Is it straight? No, it's not straight. Look at me overthinking this. Now it's down. Down a bit. Veronica, it's too late, mate. It's on. <laughs> she said down a bit. Move it down. Well, I did ask everyone, and then I didn't wait for the replies, so that's my own bad. Because when I what I see on screen and what I'm doing right now is like a, I don't know, 20-second delay. So I could tell you the cross-lotto numbers. <laughs> um, all right. Here we go. All right. All right, guys, and now we are done. And I'm going to bring it up to camera and show you. I'll peel that off first. Oh, hang on a minute. And this is where it's important to get all the bits of the rub on because your letters will look weird if they're missing bits. Like the top of the W. Top of the W. Shazam. And everything's stuck down really well. Okay, let's have a look. I'm going to bring it up. Um, and I'm going to use a lead pencil to do a frame around the outside. All right, so let's have a squeeze here. Can you see how flawless they go on? They are so good. So the background, the painty bit, is just about showing a little bit of restraint and not putting too much on, having some white space. Um, my collage paper, my Strength by Numbers collage paper went down onto a white background with gel medium. Um, just trying to find a lead pencil. Can't find one. Nobody's shocked by that. Um, so yes, you can you can quite easily just build a page just going with that minimal, that that less is best sort of situation. Um, give it a whirl. I I'm really quite loving this. I'm I'm super thrilled with it. I am gonna add some lead pencil around the edge. I don't want to add a black pen mark because it might be a little too strong. So I'm going to start out with a, a lead pencil. Um, so jump online today, guys, nataliemay.com.au. Type in in your search bar, rub on transfers. You'll find there's a nice little selection there for you to choose from. And we can um, add them to your order if you have already ordered over the weekend. We will. You can use the no judgment postage. Um, for your second, third and twelfth orders. Um, <laughs> I 
am super grateful for you guys for watching. Thank you very much. And don't forget, you can watch it back anytime you like. This is definitely my favorite page so far. It is something that I would not have normally done. But just to show you how good these rub-ons are, I felt that I needed to do it. So there you go. I look forward to seeing you back here um, maybe in an hour or so. And I'll pop in and have a quick chat and, and I'll see you then. Thanks, guys.